When I was a kid, the Olympics were truly special. Not only we had to wait for four years before they happened, but watching them even on TV was an event in itself. Of course, back then, there wasn't much to watch in the first place, but the Olympics were renowned for their grandeur. The spectacle of the opening ceremonies, the incredible design of freshly built sporting venues, the spirit of sportsmanship and the economic prosperity that they brought to the region. In 2024, it's Paris that takes on the mantle of responsibility for this grand event. Millions of spectators from all around the globe will converge on iconic venues, steeped in the city's rich history and vibrant culture. From the majestic Eiffel Tower to the tranquil bank of the Seine River, Paris is gearing up to host an Olympic extravaganza like no other. But there is more to this than you'd think. The Olympics have always served as an opportunity to showcase the latest technological advancements in construction and architecture. It was a chance to show off, to dazzle, to attract millions of visitors and to make a grand statement reflecting the riches, style and vision of the future of its host country. Money was never an issue. Presentation has always been the only thing that mattered. Paris, though, Ever the Rebel has decided to do things a little bit differently. This video is brought to you by Seveb, but more on that later. Paris last played host to the Olympic Games in 1924. Back then the world was a very different place. The Roaring Twenties were in full swing. Paris was a hub of culture and artistic innovation. The 1924 Olympics showcased the best athletes of the time competing in traditional sports arenas amidst a backdrop of grandeur and elegance. Fast forward 100 years and Paris is once again poised to welcome the world to its doorstep. But this time the landscape has shifted a bit. And the focus is not just on athletic achievement, but also on sustainability and environmental responsibility. These 100 years reflect the evolution of society's values and priorities over the past century. In 1924, the emphasis was on putting on a spectacular show for the world to see, with little regard for the long-term impact on the environment. This has been the case for many other host countries as well, and cities in the past. However, things are about to change, and Paris sits at the forefront of this new attitude and approach to our future as a whole. The Paris 2024 Olympics are committed to setting a new standard for eco-friendly sporting events, striving to minimize carbon emissions, reduce waste and promote renewable energy sources. There is little doubt that advancements in technology and a growing awareness of environmental issues have transformed the way that we approach major international events. From green building practices to innovative waste management systems, the Paris 2020 for Olympics are set to harness the power of innovation to create a more sustainable future for generations to come. Back in 1924, architectural attitudes were steeped in notions of grandeur and permanence. Buildings were constructed as monumental tribute to human achievement, designed to withstand the test of time and inspire all for generations to come. The Olympic Stadium Yves du Manoir, however, was seen by some as a concrete and metal monstrosity, lacking the fanciful adornments and elaborate Romanesque style that many desired. Fast forward to 2024, mere 100 years, and the focus has moved to sustainability and adaptability. This evolution has been driven by a confluence of social, cultural and technological changes. Rapid urbanization and population growth have placed increasing demands on our cities, necessitating innovative approaches to urban planning and design. At the same time, advancements in technology have enabled architects to harness data-driven insights and cutting-edge materials to create more sustainable and resilient structures. One of the most significant developments in recent years has been the rise of environmental awareness. Olympic venues are no exception, with organizers and architects striving to incorporate sustainable design principles in every aspect of their projects, from energy-efficient lighting, 
and renewable energy sources to rainwater harvesting systems and green roofs. Today's Olympic venues are leading the way in sustainable design. Paris 2024 Olympics symbolizes how we can honor the spirit of human achievement not by erecting grandiose monuments, but by creating sustainable environments that respect and protect our planet. This new approach ensures that the legacy of the Olympics extends far beyond the Games for future generations. Le Corbusier, Jean Nouvel and Dominique Perrault have each left an indelible mark on the landscape of modern architecture. Le Corbusier's design emphasizes functionality and simplicity. His visionary ideas on urban planning and the integration of green places lay the groundwork for sustainable urban environments. His influence is very evident in the shift towards minimalism and ecologically responsible designs. Jean Nouvel has consistently pushed the boundaries of architectural creativity. Projects like the Institut de Monde Arabe and the Foundation for Contemporary Art incorporate advanced technological solutions and sustainable materials, reflecting his commitment to more eco-friendly practices. Or take for instance Dominique Perrault, whose design of the National Library of France exemplifies how large-scale projects can integrate green design principles. Perrault's work often includes renewable energy sources and innovative water management systems, setting a precedent for future architectural endeavors. These architects, and there are many others, have helped to redefine the principles of architectural design, moving away from mere aesthetics grandeur to incorporate sustainability and environmental consciousness as core values. But this is now the point where we have to ask ourselves, are we sacrificing the timeless beauty and cultural heritage Heritage of monumental architecture for the sake of sustainability? Or are we finally aligning our architectural practices with the urgent needs of our time? How do we balance the desire for aesthetic grandeur with the imperative of environmental responsibility? From reducing carbon emissions to cleaning up the iconic Seine River, Paris is leaving no stone unturned in its quest to host the greenest games in history. First up, let's talk about venue utilization. Unlike past Olympics that relied heavily on new construction, Paris is making use of existing infrastructure for 95% of its venues. This not only minimizes the environmental impact of the games, but also preserves the city's rich architectural heritage. Only two new venues have been built for the Olympics. The Aquatic Center for swimming competitions and the Adidas Arena for badminton and gymnastics. Instead of building more arenas, the French are utilizing their most iconic spaces and buildings with temporary facilities. Beach volleyball will take place at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Place de la Concorde will host basketball, breakdancing, freestyle BMX and skateboarding. Marathon swimming will be in the fresh and hopefully clean River Seine. Les Invalides will feature archery and Versailles, one of my personal favorite places to visit in Paris, will host equestrian events and the modern pentathlon. Even the opening ceremony will be held on the River Seine instead of inside an arena. And I think that's pretty genius. The Olympics serve to showcase the ingenuity and innovation of the host city. So why not showcase what Paris is most famous for? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Paris has set ambitious targets to limit its carbon emissions, aiming for a reduction of 1.5 million tons of CO2 compared to previous summer games. One of the most significant challenges is the cleanup of River Seine, a historic waterway that has long been plagued by pollution. In fact, swimming in the Seine was banned just a year before 1924 Olympics. To tackle this problem, Paris has invested 1.5 billion in a comprehensive cleanup initiative with the goal of making the Seine swimmable in time for the Olympics. This includes the construction of 26 public swimming pools and the implementation of stringent water testing and disinfection protocols, as well as a huge underground tank for rainwater runoff. But perhaps the most significant difference of all is the role of technology. In 1924, the idea of using building information modeling, BIM, 
digital twinning and advanced environmental monitoring systems would have been unthinkable. In 2024, these technologies are driving the sustainability efforts behind the games, helping to ensure that Paris sets a new standard for eco-friendly mega events. Building information modeling, or BIM as it is known, has revolutionized the field of architecture, engineering and construction, but it didn't emerge overnight. The history of BIM is a story of technological advancements and evolving industry needs, culminating in a tool that is now indispensable for sustainable and efficient building design. Before the advent of BIM, the architecture and construction industries relied heavily on traditional drafting methods. I actually still have friends who prefer the old-fashioned ways. Blueprints, physical models and two-dimensional CAD drawings were the primary tools used to plan and execute building projects. While CAD represented a significant improvement over hand-drawn blueprints, allowing for more precise and flexible designs, it still had its limitations. CAD drawings were static representing individual aspects of a building without integrating all of these components into some cohesive, dynamic model. These traditional methods had several challenges. CAD drawings and blueprints were often created independently by different teams, architects, engineers and contractors, leading to inconsistencies and coordination issues. The manual process of updating drawings and plans increased the likelihood of errors, which could lead to costly construction delays and rework. BIM emerged as a solution to all of these challenges. It offered a more integrated and dynamic approach to building design and construction. Unlike traditional methods, BIM is a digital representation of the physical and functional characteristics of a facility. It goes beyond simple 3D modeling by incorporating detailed information about every aspect of the building, from materials and structural elements to mechanical systems and even finishes. But the development of BIM can be traced all the way back to 1980s, when early concepts of BIM began to take shape with the development of software that could create three-dimensional representations of buildings. In the 1990s, the term building information modeling was coined and the first commercial BIM software, such as ARCHICAD and Revit, was introduced. These tools allowed for the creation of parametric models, where changes in one part of the model would automatically update related components. By the 2000s, BIM adoption began to grow, driven by advancements in computing power and the increasing complexity of building projects. BIM represents a fundamental shift in how buildings are designed, constructed, and maintained. And as BIM continues to revolutionize the industry by enhancing collaboration, precision, and sustainability, it's clear that the future of architecture lies in innovative solutions that push the boundaries of what is possible. This drive for innovation and efficiency is where our sponsor, Savap, steps in, offering cutting-edge products designed to seamlessly integrate with and elevate the capabilities of BIM, ensuring that every project not only meets but exceeds the high standards of modern construction. To celebrate this advancement in technological progress, we have decided to give all of you guys something back. So head over to our website, I'll put the link in the description below, and use the coupon code YouTube 10 for 10% of your monthly subscription and YouTube 20 for 20% of your annual subscription. You know, BIM quickly became a buzzword at the center stage of attention and discussions about the 2024 Paris Olympics. But it's more than just that, albeit most of it happens behind the scenes. Imagine a virtual replica of every Olympic venue, meticulously crafted with digital precision and data-driven insights. All of a sudden, architects and engineers can surpass the limitations of traditional blueprints and sketches. They can create immersive 3D models that capture every detail of a venue, from the layout of the seating to the placement of every single electrical outlet. The Aquatic Center is a testament to the use of this technology. Its 5,000 square meter wooden roof, layered with solar panels, curves like a wave. 
The architects designed it that way to shrink the size of the building while also reducing the energy needed to heat the space twofold. This incredibly complex design was overseen by this company. I'm not even going to try it, which worked with BIM from the initial tender phase right through to handing it over as a digital twin to the company that will oversee the facility long after the games have ended. In essence, the French have found a way to revolutionize the way Olympic venues are designed and built. It's empowering architects and engineers to create spaces that not only dazzle the eye, but also minimize the environmental footprint. It's clear that BIM will play a pivotal role in shaping sustainability of the Olympic Games for years to come. The rapid growth of urban population has direct implications for architectural design. With more people living in cities than ever before, there is increased pressure on infrastructure and public spaces to accommodate the needs of residents and visitors alike. This is Especially true for mega events like the Olympics, which draw huge crowds and require extensive facilities. To meet the challenges posed by urban growth, architects and planners are employing a range of strategies to ensure that Olympic venues are both sustainable and resource efficient. This includes incorporating green building techniques such as passive design principles and energy efficient systems to minimize environmental impact and maximize efficiency. Legacy planning is also a key consideration in the design of Olympic venues. Rather than being abandoned after the games are over, these facilities are being repurposed for future use, ensuring that they continue to benefit the local community long after the Olympic torch has been extinguished. And not only to maximize the return on investment for host cities, but also to contribute to the overall sustainability of such events. This is not just a sporting event, it's the power of collective action and innovation in addressing the pressing challenges of our time. Paris 2024 Olympics have the potential to serve as a model for future host cities, inspiring them to prioritize sustainability, innovation and inclusivity in their own games. Paris is setting a new standard for Olympic excellence that other cities may seek to emulate for years to come. All right, guys, thank you very much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did and you have any opinions or any other topics that you would like us to discuss, write it down into comments. Also, let us know about your experience with Cevap. If you use the coupon, how do you find the software? Give us some feedback. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.